embark on a journey, tracing the footsteps of Ivan Ivazovsky, an artist who weaved the enigmatic beauty of the sea into his canvases. Born in the year 1817, in the quaint coastal town of Feodosia in Crimea, Ivazovsky's humble beginnings within an Armenian family were cradled by the vast and ever-changing expanse of the Black Sea. These early encounters with the sea's capricious moods laid the foundation for his lifelong enchantment with maritime themes. In 1833, a young and aspiring Avazovsky was embraced by the Imperial Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg. Under the nurturing guidance of the French painter Philippe Tanner, he found himself in an artistic sanctuary. This was a period of fervent learning and exploration. Ivazovsky absorbed the nuances of classical and romantic styles, which are evident in his early works, such as View of the Ayudag, Crimea, 1835. This piece, with its delicate interplay of light and shadow, hinted at the emerging brilliance of the young artist. As Ivazovsky turned 23 in 1840, he embarked on a transformative sojourn through Europe. Italy, a land bathed in resplendent light and color, captured his heart. This Italian interlude indelibly marked his artistic style, infusing his seascapes with a luminous quality that can be witnessed in Bay of Naples on a moonlit night, 1842. In this painting, the moon's glow caresses the water, creating a symphony of light that is both soothing and spellbinding. Upon his return to Russia in 1844, Avazovsky's career ascended to new heights. His appointment as the official artist of the Russian Navy and his recognition as an academician of the Imperial Academy affirmed his burgeoning reputation. During this period, his works, like the brig Mercury encountering the Russian squadron after defeating two Turkish battleships, 1848, began to reflect a deeper and more personal engagement with the sea. This painting, with its dramatic depiction of the Mercury's valiant encounter, is a testament to Ivazovsky's ability to blend historical narrative with emotional depth. As we delve deeper into the tapestry of Ivazovsky's career, we encounter his fascinating foray into Orientalism. Captivated by the allure of the East, Ivazovsky painted scenes like the Bay of Constantinople, 1845. Here, he masterfully captured the exotic charm and mystery of Eastern landscapes, blending his signature maritime themes with the architectural and cultural elements of the Orient. This fusion added a rich diversity to his oeuvre. In 1845, Ivazovsky settled in Feodosia, creating a sanctuary where he would spend the remainder of his life. This period marked a significant shift in his artistic journey, with a focus on romantic seascapes amidst Russia's changing artistic trends. His masterpiece, The Ninth Wave, 1850, with its portrayal of human struggle against the formidable forces of nature, is a pinnacle of this phase. By 1847, Ivazovsky had become a professor of seascape painting and had ascended to nobility. This period saw him create some of his most iconic works, such as Chaos, 1841. In this painting, Ivazovsky's imaginative prowess and technical mastery are on full display as he conjures a world where the primordial forces of nature are in tumultuous harmony. Ivazovsky's personal life also flourished with his marriage to Julia Graves in 1848. Their family life, with four daughters, provided a stable and nurturing backdrop to his prolific artistic output. This familial harmony is reflected in his works, infusing them with a sense of peace and serenity. The Crimean War between 1853 and 1856 profoundly impacted Ivazovsky. He captured the brutality of the conflict in works like Siege of Sevastopol, 1853. In this painting, the stark contrast between the turmoil of war and the serene beauty of his earlier seascapes is strikingly evident. The late 1850s marked the zenith of Ivazovsky's international fame. His exhibitions in Paris and accolades, such as the Legion of Honor, brought him global recognition. His painting, Battle of Sinop, 1853, 
exemplified his ability to depict naval warfare with a dramatic flair and meticulous accuracy. By 1865, with his established studio in Feodosia, Ivazovsky became a central figure in Russian art. His nocturnal scenes, like Moonlit Night on the Bosphorus, 1865, displayed a remarkable ability to capture the moon's ethereal glow on the sea. These works showcase his unparalleled mastery of light and atmosphere. In the late 1860s, Ivazovsky's travels inspired him to explore themes of Greek nationalism and Italian unification. His engagement with these themes added a new dimension to his work, infusing it with a sense of historical consciousness and political commentary. The 1870s were marked by further honors and accolades. Ivazovsky's self-portrait, requested by the Accademia di Belle Arti di Firenze in 1874, is a testament to his esteemed status in the international art community. The opening of his art gallery in Feodosia in 1880, one of the first museums in the Russian Empire, highlighted his contributions to Russian culture. His second marriage in 1882 to Anna Bernazian reconnected him with his Armenian heritage, influencing his later works. Ivazovsky's travels to the United States in the 1890s and his reaction to the Hamidian massacres, where he painted poignant works on the subject and rejected honors from the Ottoman Sultan, reflected his deep political and moral convictions. A significant highlight in Ivazovsky's life was his encounter with the renowned English painter J. M. W. Turner. Turner, upon seeing Ivazovsky's The Bay of Naples on a Moonlit Night, expressed profound admiration, acknowledging the emotional depth and technical brilliance of Ivazovsky's work. This meeting symbolized a mutual recognition between two masters of light and sea. In his final years, Ivazovsky continued to paint, leaving a legacy that transcended boundaries. His death on 19th April 1900 marked the end of a remarkable career that forever changed the way we perceive and depict the sea in art. In retracing the steps of Ivan Ivazovsky, we are reminded of the enduring power of art to capture the natural world's beauty and fury. His journey from the Crimean shores to the pinnacles of artistic achievement is a narrative of resilience, creativity, and an undying passion for the sea. Through his canvases, we are transported to a world where the sea's whispers and roars are eternally captured, a testament to the timeless dialogue between man and nature.